Try number two. <laughs> Let the tape play this time. Yeah. This is not blame. Hmm? This is not blame. Have you played this yet? A little. How far did you make it? I made it past. I made it. I beat. I beat the demo. On my phone, at least. It's the same game. No, hello. Playing this thing when he popped in. Or person, upon discovering the damage or death has occurred, a missing person report will be filed within 90 days or as soon as property and premises have been thoroughly cleaned and bleached and the carpets have been replaced. Blah blah blah. Now that might sound bad, I know, but there's really nothing to worry about. Uh, the animatronic characters here do get a I had foggy at night, but do I blame them? So, no. Yeah, Foxy sucks. And whenever he rams into the door, he steals your power. So remember, these characters hold a special place in the hearts of children, and we need to show them a little respect, right? Okay. So just be aware, the characters do tend to wander a bit. Uh, they're left in some kind of free roaming mode at night. Uh, something about their servos locking up and they get turned off for too long. Uh, they used to be allowed to walk around during the day, too, but then there was the bite of 87. Yeah. It's amazing that the human body can live without the frontal lobe, you know? Uh, now, concerning your safety, the only real risk to you as a night watchman here, if any, is the fact that these characters, uh, if they happen to see you after hours, probably won't recognize you as a person. They'll, they'll most likely see you as a metal endoskeleton without its costume on. Now, since that's against the rules here at Freddy Fazbear's Pizza, they'll probably try to forcefully stuff you inside a Freddy Fazbear suit. Um, now, that wouldn't be so bad if the suits themselves weren't filled with cross beams, wired, and animatronic devices, especially around the facial area. So you can imagine how having your head forcefully pressed inside one of those could cause a bit of discomfort and death. Uh, the only parts of you that would likely see the light of day again would be your eyeballs and teeth that pop out the front of the mask here. Yeah, they don't tell you these things when you sign up. But hey, first station of the breeze. I'll chat with you tomorrow. Uh, check those cameras and remember to close the doors only if absolutely necessary. You gotta conserve power. Alright, good night.
Sorry guys, I had a uh, little technical difficulties, but I'm good now. Fuck. Like pull your thing up again and go back out. Damn. Funny. <laughs> He's probably in the hole. Or in the kitchen. No, I think Chico likes the kitchen. I can't even see the kitchen. I'm surprised that thing went out on you. That thing usually doesn't do that till later. It's random and it'll pop, it pop out. I've had both do it. Nice job. Yep. It was like one of the first times I played it. I still had full power and it did that. Yep. Freddy, we miss you! Chica! <laughs> Where'd Barney go? I wouldn't do that until you can you can at least see him. He's in the dining area. No, he wasn't. Hmm. Maybe down the hall? Or in the kitchen. Well, I mean, you can hear you can hear her in there. Nobody wants you. Really? He's gonna sit there? He's gonna sit there and drain all my power. Normally, if you turn the light on and off, it goes away. Yep. Yeah, he's not there though. That's Freddy's dum dum dum. He's in the kitchen. She's in the kitchen. You can hear her. You can hear her waddling around. <laughs> yep. Freddy moved. What was that? Yeah. Freddy moved. Yeah. That's where it is. I know, but he he moved his head. He was staring. He was looking at the camera. <laughs> Chica! He made it tonight too!